Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Father Peter Berger. I'm the priest here at St. Mary's, and it's an honor to be with you to celebrate the sacrament of baptism, which is the initiation into the church and the gateway to all the sacraments. So it's a joyful then this morning for all of you gathered here today. So I invite you now to stand. We begin together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear parents, what name have you given your child? Ethan Michael. From Michael. And what do you ask of God's church to read from Michael? Baptism. You have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? God, parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? We are. Ephraim Michael, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. And I'll trace the cross on your forehead. I invite your parents and godparents to do the same. Listen to the words of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. Immediately on coming up out of the water, he saw the sky rent in two and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. Then a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. On you my favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Just a couple of words this morning. Just thinking about his name, Ephraim Michael. Ephraim was one of the names given to some of the tribes of Israel, the people of the covenant. As you know, God established a covenantal relationship with his own people, bringing him out of slavery in Egypt and to freedom in the promised land. It's a covenant which was committed to again and again. There was a covenant between Adam and God, and then between Noah and God, and finally reaching fulfillment in Abraham and God, and Moses and the whole people of Israel with the Lord. A full covenant which found its fulfillment then in Jesus Christ. So as we think about it, in some sense, bearing this name means that he now is a child of the covenant. That in this sacrament, he too is entering into a relationship with the Lord. A relationship which is meant to be eternal, that would never suffer break. Then I thought about his middle name, Michael, after St. Michael the Archangel. Michael is the name which means, who is like God. Who is like God. It's a reminder not only in the sense of who is like God, in the sense of how great God is, but also in that call to be like God, that we are called to be the ones who are like God. And so then, too, in the sacrament, he is in, you know, clothed with the white garment, which is an outward sign of his Christian dignity. He has a flame from the pastel candle, which is handed on to him, reminding him to be the light of Christ in the world. And obviously the water, which is poured over, forgiving him of his original sin. And then the sacred chrism, which makes him a priest, a prophet, and a king. So both of those names, then, in Ephraim, it's a reminder that he now is a child of the covenant, and in Michael, that he is called to be like God. We all, then, here, are meant to bear witness to him of the great reality of what takes place, to constantly remind him that in this sacrament now, he is an adopted son of God, a child of the covenant, meant to be like the Lord himself. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on his parents and godparents, and on all the baptized. I invite you to respond, Lord, hear our prayer at the end of each of these petitions. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give him the new life of baptism and welcome him into your holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, making your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lead him by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. We pray to the Lord. Keep his family always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Now we are going to invoke the saints and ask them for their prayers. Then of each of these saints' names, I invite you to respond. Pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God. St. John the Baptist, St. Joseph, St. Peter, St. Paul, St. Elizabeth, St. Michael the Archangel, all holy men and women, 
pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set him free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory. And send your Holy Spirit to dwell within him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I lay my hands on his head. We have strengthened the power of Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, God uses the sacrament of water to give his divine life to those who believe in him. Let us now turn to him, asking him to continue to pour his gift of life on this spot, on this child that he has chosen. Wow. Heavenly Father, you have called your child Ephraim Michael to this cleansing water, that he may share in the faith of your church and have eternal life. By the mystery of this consecrated water, lead him to a new and spiritual birth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he has received the new gift of life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine light which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So parents and God, I invite you to renew your own baptismal promises by responding, I do, at the end of each of these questions. Parents and godparents, would you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, who was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Parents and godparents, is it your will that Ephraim Michael should be baptized in the faith of the Church, which you have just professed? God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomes you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body and share it everlasting life. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and Godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He has walked always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. When the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word. 
and your mouth to proclaim his faith. The glory of God the Father. Amen. You have put on Christ who when you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In Holy Communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, I now invite you to stand as we pray together in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. There's now a prayer of blessing for the mother. God the Father, who has sent the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers, as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with him, and thanking him forever and ever. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now bless you for the Father. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Now I invite you all to bow your heads and cast for God's blessing. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's welcome him into the Christian community of tonight's round of applause. Thank <laughs> you. 